what's up y'all so obviously let's get one thing out of the way yes i just got a haircut so finally got that done and in this video we are actually going to put in a couple of just basic cam locks in this wood filing cabinet that is probably from you know one of those one of those stores that you put it together yourself or whatever this is pretty common where people buy these that don't have locks on them and then want to add locks to it or have to have locks on it and there's no really security we we ask if they wanted just the basic lock on it most people will agree they just want the basic lock on it so we're just putting in some standard compex national style uh, 80 i think this is the 8053 which tells you the length of it and uh we're going to be drilling and installing the hardest part about doing this is this part where the slot goes for it. It is no real big deal to drill your three quarter inch hole in the drawer face. Uh, the hardest part is cutting the slot for this to go up into because usually you're upside down. I have the advantage here that I was able to just lift this and put it on the table. But normally on this, you'd be on your hands and knees and, and looking up under it, which we are still gonna have to do a little bit, but by far and large, this is much easier to do this way where we can uh, move it around. And let's take a close look at this. Because how these are built really depends on what can be done with it. And if we look, uh, your main thing is you close the drawer there, all right? So the main thing is, is you need the surface for the cam tailpiece there to go up into. And you kind of need to see how it sits. Some of them have an overhang. When you close this, it may overhang down. That would affect where you're able to put it on the face of the drawer. If we look down here, this one does not have one. So this one's gonna be fairly easy. If we look down on the second one, we do have a little narrow piece of wood that looks like a little half inch piece of wood. So that is gonna affect a little bit the length because otherwise, if we mount this, we can only mount this down so far without this bevel, you know, without the lip of it hanging over the face of the lock, hanging over the bevel. Looking at it closely, if we look at the back side, we see the holes drilled for the handle right there. Um, and if you take your cam lock, I have one. I uh, thought I had one. Well, where'd the other cam lock go? There it is. <laughs> Come out of there. Uh, so basically, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this lock apart. And I'm gonna come up here. I'm just kinda, kinda eyeball this to see where I would want to install this. Cause this, this again does make quite a difference. So we wanna kinda be careful where we're putting this. Also, I'm gonna be using a backer plate for this which is good to do to keep it from spinning. So I want enough room for the backer plate to be on the back without hitting those screws. So let me go grab a backer plate real quick. And when I say a backer plate, it's basically kind of a custom homemade plate made out of the Schlage spare face plates that come in the belts. These are good to keep on hand because the cam lock fits perfectly right there. You do have to grind off this inner lip for it to sit flat. You can see I've already done that with a few of these in here previously. And I have missed one, so we'll go ahead and do that real quick. Now you don't need very long screws to stabilize that. And I am lucky enough to have a ton of Baldwin rosette mounting screws that came with these little mounting rosettes because I've got hundreds of those. So I'm just gonna take out four of these little screws. Okie doke. So let's get the plate and we can see now the plate goes through just like that and keeps it from twisting in its and it's whole much better than these stupid little wonder washers I hate these things so much 
so what what we need to do because this is going to be going across kind of sideways like this just like that and then just like that so let us see on the back doesn't really matter because it's flat all the way down looks like on the back yep and uh we're just gonna mark kind of right where it needs to be and uh luckily Can kind of eyeball that. So let's go down and mark the other one. All right, let's grab our tape measure and take a quick measurement to make sure we're. All right, where we're supposed to be, that looks like about three quarters down. That's right, and then we'll go up here. Yep, that's about three quarters down as well. So they will be even, so we'll just put a little, put a little. So we've got it marked and measured and uh, just going to look in the back one more time just to make sure we're all clear once we do that. Should be good. And uh, we'll just start with this one up top here. And for this, we're going to be using a still tipped three quarter inch spade bit. As you can see size that you're supposed to use so go ahead and get the main holes knocked out real quick Smells like fish. You know, I don't know why it smells like fish, but it smells like fish. Okay, we got to poke through on the other side.
So at this point, I go ahead and start sort of someone my locks. If you need to key them light, re key them, whatever. But we want to get some uh, thread lock on these two portions in particular, which are the two that always get loose and cause problems. So let's go ahead and do that real quick with blue lock tight. Blue. And I should be able to. Ooh, too much. Way too much. What a waste. Well, what a waste. Do I need to thread lock anything else right now? That is the question. Wow, that ran really well. Okay. So, got plenty of that. There has been any number of comments on thread lock on my videos whenever I use it. Uh, there is the, and, I, and I've always meant to do a thread lock video, which I still plan on doing one day with the help of dang it West. But yeah, that's always, that's always infuriating when you use too much. Some people have said use the glue stick and I, and I have one of those. It's, it's a, uh, it's a stick, Loctite stick. I'm not fond of the sticks, even though there's obviously less waste. Uh, but even with the waste, I've still got, you buy a big bottle of it, even with the extra waste that you have, a uh, big bottle will last you for quite a while if you're careful with it. So we're gonna be letting that dry and then uh, move on to, uh, we need to go ahead and clean this off. I usually have a brush or a paintbrush here, so I'm gonna grab one. Go ahead and clean up the first round of debris. We're gonna cause more when we cut the holes for the other part of it. Oh me, oh me, get out of there. Uh, probably gonna end up actually taking the drawer out anyway, so this is not that big of a deal right now, but let's get it cleaned off so we can put the locks on. Messy, messy, messy with this powdery, powdery wood, I call it. Okay, so, ooh, I need a screwdriver now. All right, let's uh, get this guy in. And uh, mark the inside. So we are not gonna use the little cap thing that comes with this. This is a trim ring in case you goof up you can cover your goof up but you don't want to goof up you want to do it without the trim ring it'll be way better and uh get it in there let's go ahead and mark our inside holes and uh we're gonna go sideways so just like that and put that right there and uh grab a little drill bit mark our holes just like this. Find our little screws. this part down and for that I use a 7 8 inch spark plug deep socket so we'll go ahead and uh, tighten the nut down with it Do the other side. Let's actually make sure it closes. Should close just fine. Yep. Okay, and the top.
check our key rotation real quick. Make sure. Oh, it's upside down, so let's flip it over. Okay, looks like that. We get the same key rotation. Make it a little bit more convenient. That was the easy part. Okie doke. So because this cam is uh, not going to be too long, we can go ahead and tighten it down with the appropriate screw. And I want to check the rotation once again. So, yep, sideways, that can be locked. Really doesn't matter as long as they're matched up the same. So we're going to use the, the actual Loctited screw for this one. And then on the bottom one, because I'm going to have to take it off and on, we'll use, the, uh, we'll use a temporary screw for that. Now, it is a good idea to have a flathead screwdriver. And put it right in the key cylinder just like that to hold it still. Of course, we have this support, so... That helps, but I'm going to tighten it down just like that. And then check it. So, boom. All right, so how we're going to mark that inside, let me go ahead and put this one down as well. So, sideways is up. And we gotta find the other cam. Where is it? Okay, let's go down here. Put this one in with a temp. Uh, a rary just to see. And let's bring the camera over here. Alright, so again, this cam is too long. And we're gonna take this top drawer out in just a minute just to show you. So it's gonna have to be cut down. So we're gonna go ahead and cut the top one in. And you have to mark where your, where your cam is gonna hit. And you can do that with, lipstick is pretty popular. However, on dark wood, another good thing would be, like I'm using in this case, metallic paint, because that's just what I have. Really, it's whatever you can find that uh, if it's not dried out, uh, especially if you don't do it often. I don't even know if this will come open. Uh-oh, hold on. This won't open. Had to heat it up just a wee little bit to get it open. And we're gonna blob just a bit on the end of this. Just like that. A little too much there. Only need a little bit. So it goes that way. So we need to put it on this front corner. Just like this. So we know where it starts. Just like that, okay. Close it all the way, just like that, and boop. And that should leave us a mark on the inside. I'm gonna go ahead and take the drawer out. I'm gonna peek in there and make sure it marked. Oh, did it mark? It may not have. Yeah, it may have. May not have, may have. Let's see. Let's blob it one more time. Blob it one more time. Okay, don't forget to clean it. Clean it off. Okay. 
and uh, let's go ahead and take the drawer out. So almost always there's either a push in or little tabs. These have these little, little levers on them. And as usual, one lever goes up, one lever goes down. So you gotta kind of figure out which way they go. Usually they go to the spring loaded direction. So this one's down and then this one on the other side has to lift up. It doesn't make any sense, I know, but it is what it is, right? All right, so there's that one. And uh, yeah, let's peek up in here. And here's what I mean about this bottom. So when we put this uh, cam on, what's gonna happen is it's gonna be a little bit too long. We'll go, we'll go ahead when we have this one out. Kind of loosely tighten it down, just like that. And then we're gonna look and see, oh no. So, so what we're gonna need to do there is cut that, cut that cam down and we're gonna grab a Sharpie and just mark where it needs to be cut. So right about, right about here. Just like that. And in this case, I can use like a hacksaw or a cutter or any number of things because I'm in the shop. In the field, you might have to grab your hacksaw and do it unless you have a battery operated cutoff saw, but basically we're just gonna cut and round the corners just like the other one. Since there's not a whole lot to this, I'm just gonna grind it. But again, you can, uh, you can use a hacksaw or whatever, cutting wheel. Let's give a little check to that. That looks good. And put the screw with the Loctite on it. Once again, just using a screwdriver to hold the face still. And give a good tighten down to this. All right about there. And again, use our paint to tip the front of it. The lipstick is a popular choice for this because uh, for obvious reasons, it's in a lipstick form and it won't, won't be as hard to deal with. However, in Mississippi, the summer times really do suck and lipstick melts. Even the cheapy, cheapy stuff that I've looked for melts pretty quick. So we're gonna close that all the way. And tap a couple of hits into it, just like that. Okay, check, make sure it marked. It did. And uh, let's wipe it off. I think we're good to go with the paper towel, just like that. And once again, we're gonna take the drawer out. Flip these little deal right there. Yep. Yep. This is the hardest hard to deal with with customer stuff because uh, sometimes these drawers are full <laughs> and that makes it pretty interesting when you have to take the drawers off. So here we go. Look, found something for them. This needs to go back. All right, let's look underneath. 
For this, I'm gonna use a Brad Point drill bit, and then it's very important to tape it off so that you don't go too deep. And basically, you just wanna measure how deep it's gonna be, and that is, that's about right. Maybe a little bit deeper. Let's put it right there. Okay, and then uh, we're gonna drill from here over to about right there. Very carefully in a row, you could use a, uh, you know, if you had to do a lot of them, you could use a, a trim router and drill a couple of holes and then route sideways. But uh, it's pretty sketchy to use. So let me move this tripod. Okay, luckily we have plenty of clearance to do this. So it is not that big of a deal to do. straight as you can. And then walk the bit side to side. Just like that. Chew through. again without the hopefully without the phone repeatedly calling we need to get this done let's put this light right there helps to have a little light on the situation all right and then again oh a little too much I think we need to go a couple more over. Maybe enough. I don't know. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, I think it is. I think it is. Let's 
Let's go ahead and get this guy cleaned out though. Sheesh. Paintbrush time. Now you could go one step further and put like uh, like this strike plate in. You know, that would look that would look pretty nice. Uh, but uh, uh, these are not really for cam locks. These don't really come with cam locks. They're for pen style, other types of locks. So, you know, really, uh, that's not part of it. In other words, that's not part of the price scheme. You give it one more good little route. Give it one more good little wrap. And, uh, dang, paint there. We can uh, fix that with a regular drill bit. Um, I don't even have one out here. Or, or actually, you know, another good idea for this is a, uh, is a, chamfer and uh for this one you could use a you could use this guy is that deep enough no nope, it's too it's too shallow let's go ahead and just scrape this just like that there we go See how well that did? What you think? Is it gonna work? I don't know, but I need to go sweep the drawer out too. Okay, get in there and get in there. Yeah, just like that. All right, let's see if it works. Yep, almost. I think we need to go probably a little bit. Let's grind down, let's grind down this cam just a bit. Maybe a little too tall. A little bit deeper, y'all. Just a wee bit deeper. There's the stop right there. Be deep enough now. 
Nope. Go ahead and grind that tailpiece down just a bit. All right, took that down a couple of notches. So we gotta do this top one. All right, we see our little blob right there. Set a little further back than this one was. So this top drawer will technically be more secure. And also we don't have to deal with that uh, hard stuff. The hard stuff. Probably should have left the drawer out. Yeah. Probably should have. Start right there. Good idea to have a headlamp when you're doing this. Okay, we need we need to go a little bit deeper now. go a little bit deeper Let's, uh, let's see where we're at there. Oh, almost. Almost. Let's go a little bit deeper across the uh, front of it.
ahead and sweep off the top part. I think that's gonna get us. And go dump out the drawer. for the cleanup, uh, which in an office environment can be a little messy. Can be a little messy, but that is why they make brooms and vacuums and etc. Alrighty, y'all. So there we go. How to put in simple cam locks. Again, the hardest part is getting the actual cam done especially when there's narrow drawers and with that sometimes you can use a right angle drill uh sometimes there's just it, it really dependent on that if it's a really shallow drawer i usually prefer to uh, do maybe a side mount with a push in but there's such a gap in them those push side things don't really work well there's those double gang locks that are supposed to work for two drawers and they kind of have this bar and these mounting plates and it comes off the side and when you turn the key it catches these little things these are these are very difficult to put in very very difficult to put in especially when there's that center uh center bar It'd be a lot easier if there wasn't that little center plate but anyway thanks for watching y'all if you have any questions or comments as always post them in the comment section and we'll catch y'all next video after I get all that up.